What's going on everybody? Uh, I'm here with a video today. I have a lot of people that asked me about how I get my vocals um, to sit over the mix of the original song when I don't use an instrumental, uh, which I rarely do on this channel. Uh, I don't have time to create full songs. So anyway, I just want to kind of help some people out because a lot of people do ask me that and just show you what I do to make my vocals more present. Um, as much as I can because obviously it's gonna be impossible to drown theirs out completely so what I do um, the first thing I do is I take the track which my example track is where did it go by asking Alexandria a uh, new song um, and first of all actually uh, I recorded this at the wrong BPM I, the project BPM uh, I should have recorded it at 140 which is the song BPM if I was gonna use a delay so it worked properly but unfortunately or fortunately it didn't mess any of this up because I did it the wrong BPM but it is good to record uh, your covers at the correct BPM with the song so that way um, it doesn't mess with any production stuff but luckily this time all I did was use um, like a reverb so with the, the delay is fine um, anyway so the first thing I do is I take the main track and I cut it at about 1350 to 1500 Hertz uh, that's sometimes a little lower but typically in that range like 1000 to 1500 hertz it's just to get it uh the vocals from the original track kind of brought down because that's typically where they sit so i do kind of cut kind of wide um and then the second thing that i do is um with my vocals um the first thing i normally do is melodyne uh, i just threw a little uh, the auto tune on taurus just for a quick little fix so i didn't have to do melodyne just for something simple like this so i just threw that on there to do light pitch correcting um and then i throw on gain reduction and i i press pretty hard i keep the body right in the middle um i don't about somewhere in the middle my scream vocals i will bring down a little bit more um bring a little less uh you know thump to it but and then i'll go on i'll put some reverb on there i'm just using i i use a really wide reverb to help it be wide in the mix on covers um, so I just some default reverb in um, ozone and I just boosted it a little bit and then I cut the lows out I boost it around 15 15k uh, just to give it some air and some like space you know kind of it doesn't sound so boxy I guess um, and then I boost it around the same frequencies that I cut it uh, I boost the vocals where I would cut the instrumental so that way it kind of sits over it um, and you get that nice presence so and I do that again on the second track the second track is just a it actually it's just screaming this is the singing and then this is just I'm screaming the chorus behind it because it gives it some depth I don't do that with every song but it sounded good in this one um, and then this is just a the little pre-chorus yell so um, I'll give you an example of what it sounds like whenever I do not have this cut so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it now uh, with it cut and you'll notice the difference in uh, the presence of Danny's vocals versus now being able to hear mine better that's about it um just you know i do some pitch correcting normally i'd normally use melodyne for my pitch correction uh this time i just did that for this example video because it's quicker uh, joey sturgis gain reduction amazing amazing compression for vocals uh, i use it for my cleans and my screams um and obviously when i do full songs like for my own band i have a lot more extensive vocal production but this is just a really fast and easy way to get started with a, with vocal covers and um you know I've got three tracks. I have I have a few things on the master, like a limiter, a compressor, and you know just get everything sounding right, uh, some EQ and stuff. But anyway, just something quick and easy to get this going, uh, so I don't have to spend a whole lot of time and 
I like, you know, I like to pump out covers fast. I like to, I don't like to have to spend a whole lot of time on them. I like to spend my time on my own music and my covers are just a fun thing. So this is the best way to do it quickly. And if that's something you're looking into, hopefully this video helps you out. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Maybe make some more videos like this uh, if uh, people find it helpful. Uh, thank you so much for watching.